Did you know you can specify multiple repositories in a single Azure DevOps YAML pipeline and have it triggered by updates in any of those repositories? Let me show you how in this Three Minutes Friday. Hey, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And today is a Three Minutes Friday, so short videos, big value, hopefully. Today, we talk about multi-repo triggers in Azure Pipelines, because as I mentioned in the intro, you can use multiple repositories in a single YAML file and have the pipeline triggered by updates in any of those repositories. Let's see how. Let's start the clock and get into it. So here we have a very simple pipeline. And as you can see, we just have a local trigger and a couple of steps. First thing we want to do is adding more repositories to this, because in this moment, this will trigger or will use only the local repository, as we can see here with this checkout self. We need to add a resources section. I'm adding a repository called Tools in the Azure DevOps project, My Project, in the same organization. And I'm also telling to use the main branch of that repository. Also, I'm giving it a name, in this case, Tools, which I can use to reference this throughout the pipeline. I can also add repositories in GitHub, for example. As you can see, the type here changed to GitHub. We still have the name of the repo with the name of the organization or user that contained the repo and the reference branch. The difference here is that we need to use this endpoint, which is the service connection to your GitHub organization or account. Finally, you can also add a repository in another Azure DevOps organization using the same syntax as before, but yet specifying a service connection for the other organization. As you can see, I don't have the branch name here. It's actually optional. So I didn't actually have to specify it here, but we will see in a second why I've done so. Now, so far we've added these three repositories, but we cannot yet trigger from the changes on any of those. To make sure that we trigger also on other repositories, we can add the trigger section to the definition, as you can see here. In this case, I'm specifying two branches, main and release, that Azure Pipelines will look into for triggering this pipeline run. So why specifying the branches here in the trigger and also in the repository definition, you ask? Well, the answer is for the checkout. Most likely, when you trigger based on a repository, or if you define a repository as a resource, you may want to use the content of that repository. You can add additional checkouts to your pipeline. And as you can see here, you use the reference name you've provided in the resource definition to tell the checkout step what to do. If you don't specify anything else, this will check out the default branch for the repo. But like in this case, if you do specify a different branch, then the checkout will use the branch in the definition to check out your code. So if you see here, I do have four checkout for the self, so the current repository in which this pipeline lives, my GitHub repo, tools, and my other Azure repos Git repository, which again are the exact same name I've used in the resource definition of my repositories. Last note about the checkout step. If you don't specify a path in the checkout step, Azure pipelines will use the name of the repository to create the folder not the repository value, which is used to reference the repository in the checkout step. Meaning that, for example, for this checkout, it will not create a folder called my other Azure repos git repository, but instead the folder will be called my Azure repos git repo. I think this feature is pretty useful and I have many examples of those. But one case is when you have or use a different tool or library in your application and you want to make sure you retest your application whenever this tool or library get updated. It is also good if you keep your YAML definitions of your YAML pipelines in a different repository than where you have your application code, even though I don't necessarily recommend this approach. But anyway, you can trigger the pipeline with this method anytime the application code gets updated. Oh, and a final note. Remember that at least at the time of recording this video, the triggers for multi-repos work only on repositories from Azure Repos Git in the same organization. 
All right, let me know in the comment section below how you think this feature can benefit your processes. And also check out this video over here in which I show you how you can run a specific job next in Azure Pipelines. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Dave. Oh,